Hey there everyone, Ben here with Fly Plugins. And today what we are going to do is demonstrate our latest add-on for WP Courseware, which is an add-on to integrate WP Courseware with iThemes Exchange membership. So what I would like to start off by doing is going over to the plugins area just to show you uh, exactly what I have installed on this WordPress site. So the first thing you'll notice is we have iThemes Exchange and next you'll notice we have iThemes Exchange membership add-on. Now iThemes Exchange is a free plugin, however the membership add-on is a premium plugin. The membership add-on is required in order for this integration to work properly. And you'll notice we have WP Courseware along with the WP Courseware Exchange membership add-on. Okay, so now what I'd like to do is go over and show that we have several courses already built and I think we have about five or six courses here. And so let's go ahead and cruise over to our Exchange products. And you'll notice here that we've got several products built already with Exchange membership. And what I want to do is drill down into this particular product here just to kind of show what is set up. So basically we just gave it a product title. Uh, you can set your price here at whatever you'd like. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at zero just for the purposes of this demonstration. Then if we go down just a little further, you'll notice we have a welcome message. And so what I did is I created a course outline page that will display all the courses that a particular user is enrolled into. And what I did is I created a hyperlink here in the welcome message uh, that links right to that course outline. So when somebody purchases this membership level, they will be able to click on that link and it will take them right to the course outline and it's a dynamic course outline so it will display every course that that particular user is uh, enrolled in. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go up to training courses and exchange membership. Now this particular option here is only enabled when you install the WP Courseware iThemes Exchange membership add-on. So if we click on that, you'll notice we've got uh, several columns here. Uh, we've got the level ID, and this is pertaining to the exchange membership level ID. Then you have the exchange uh, level name, so this is the, the friendly name. And then you'll notice in column three, we've got a list of all the courses that we have created. And the ones that are checkmarked or in, in green are actually the courses that are actually associated with the level in that particular row. So just for the demonstration, I'd like to go ahead and just assign a course to a level. To do so, what you need to do is click Edit Course Access Settings. Now I know I don't have a Calculus 101 course, um, but I'm just going to use Algebra just, just for the demo. Um, so go ahead and just check Algebra 1. And you'll see there's a second option here. I'm going to get to this a little bit later in the video, so we're just going to go ahead and leave that alone for now. And we're going to click Save Changes, and we're going to return to Course Access Settings. And you'll notice under Calculus 101, we just assigned the Algebra 101 course. So basically what that means is if somebody purchases the Calculus 101 membership level, they will automatically be enrolled into the Algebra 101 course. Okay, so let's go over to our users area I just want to point out a few things here you'll notice we've got several users here you'll notice Chris and Corey both have uh, access to the statistics 101 and 102 courses which means they they already purchased that particular membership level that enrolled them into these courses and you'll notice Nate uh, is enrolled in history 101 so he purchased the membership level that is associated with history 101 and you'll notice right across from my username uh, actually, I have no courses associated with me, so that means I have not uh, purchased any membership levels at this point. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to our product page for Statistics 101 and 102, and I'm going to go ahead and complete the purchase. And you'll notice now I got this results page, and right here under Statistics 101 and 102, this is the product I just purchased. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and you'll see my welcome message here. And if you remember earlier in the video, I mentioned that I created a hyperlink that goes right to the course outline. Well, here's the hyperlink that your user would see. So if I click that, you'll notice it takes me right over to my courses page that I created. 
and it shows me that I'm enrolled into both of these courses. Um, these are the dynamic course outlines. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and just show that I actually am enrolled into these two courses. Okay, and now I just want to show you one last feature that we have built into this integration. If we go back into training courses, exchange membership, and we go into the Statistics 101 and 102 courses, you'll notice that there is a second option here. Do you want to retroactively assign these courses to current active members? Okay, what this is asking is, if I add another course, let's just say History 101, to this particular level, do I want to retroactively enroll all of the users that are a member of that particular level into this course? So you have the option to do that here. You can select yes or no. If you select no, basically what that'll do is it'll go ahead and assign this course to this particular level. And so going forward, anybody that purchases that membership level will get enrolled into History 101, Statistics 101, and Statistics 102. However, if you select yes, what that'll do is that'll, that'll not only allow users that purchase that membership level going forward, but it'll also retroactively enroll users that have already purchased this product into that course. So I'm going to go ahead and just select yes so that we can retroactively assign these courses to current active members and we'll go back to the user screen so that you can actually see this and see what happens in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and click save changes and you'll notice the uh, message up here all members were successfully retroactively enrolled into the selected courses and let's go back over to our users area and you'll notice now that not only did I get History 101, but uh, Chris and Corey both got History 101 as well. So I believe that concludes the demonstration of this integration between WP Courseware and iThemes Exchange membership. Thanks for watching.